welcome to another episode of the Internet Web Review where claims about Pokemon movies is that some outdated art and outdated graphics that it shouldn't be destroyed in the first place. Seriously, it's 2017. Pokemon movies and anime are not welcome form and media at this some point. We got the we got the internet web reviewer would argue, anyways. A lot of you would have wanted me to watch this video, so without further ado, let's watch some of the, one of our trending episodes of the Nostalgia Critic on Channel Awesome. I don't want to review this movie. I really don't. There are just some things in this world you don't want to watch and you don't think you ever have to. But so many people have requested that I review it that I simply have no choice. I have to review Pokemon, the first movie. First of all, I should point out, I did not grow up with Pokemon as a kid. I was a junior in high school when this show came out, so I was well past the stage of watching children's cartoons. What I do know is that it was based on a Japanese video game that was turned into a card game that was turned into a TV show. And for those of you who don't know what it's about, I can't help you, because nobody knew what the it was about. I guess there's these three kids who collect monsters that kind of look like Beanie Babies, except they kill one another and they're being chased by these two gay people or something like that. Nobody could follow it. The only people who understood it at all were the kids, and they turned into a worldwide phenomenon. So naturally, a movie was in the works. And I have to tell you, I had a hard time finding this film. Not because it's rare or anything, but because there's like a million of them. How the f am I supposed to know where to start? There's one called Pokemon Heroes. Is that the first movie? There's another called Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back. Is that the first movie? Stop the video! Let's take a look in the dis let's take a look in the dis title right here. Nostalgia Critic Sucks Pokemon. The man the critic starts movement. Ninja Turtles fan kicked Pokemon butt. I am an, I've been very crapped. That hashtag channel awesome is not going to become a really hatred an enlarged reactment hatred. There are a lot of people that want to want to want to be a love and a lot of people love to watch Pokemon movies and anime. I don't think that hashtag channel awesome is going to be a very hatred movement. I've, I'll be crapped. Finally, I found it. A VHS copy of the first movie that is literally titled Pokemon the First Movie. I mean, how cocky do you have to be to literally call your first movie the first movie? It's like they knew they were going to have a bajillion sequels, so they decided to call it the first movie just to make it easy for it. But not only that, there's also a million versions of this one film. There's the version that starts off with a short film, there's the version with a deleted opening, there's an English version, a Japanese version, I couldn't keep track. So I'm gonna just review what's on the original VHS American release. Now the nice thing about a movie is that they usually give you a lot of background information so that any newcomers can follow along. They do this usually to broaden their audience a little bit. With that said, let's take a look at Japan's cinematic opus, Pokemon, the first movie. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, that's even better. What, are they going to show the people who catered the movie next? Today my colleagues will reach the site where an ancient civilization may have created a shrine to Mew, the most powerful Pokémon to have ever existed. Okay, what's a Pokémon? Giovanni is financing the expedition. Who's Giovanni? All he wants is to control the most powerful Pokémon the world has ever known. What are those things? I, of course, want something more. Who are you? Our team is bringing back what we believe to be a new fossil. Where are we? Perhaps then I can unlock the secret to restoring life itself. What, you mean like bring people back from the dead and stuff? What's that thing? Where am I? Is this Earth? Are we another dimension? Is this the past? The future? The present? What's going on? Where does this even take place? Oh my god, I'm like one minute into this movie already! I'm totally lost! God, this is gonna suck! Oh my god. This is not going to be the good. This video is about to blow. I'm scared. Me too. 
Okay, so they never really tell us what a Pokemon is, but from what I can gather, they're kind of like little monsters that you capture and use for fighting. The way they capture them is that they throw some kind of magical ball that shrinks them down so that you can fit them in your pocket. Kind of like a pocket monster or something. In fact, they should have just called it pocket monsters. That at least would make a little bit more sense, but apparently Pokemon is the Romanized contraction of the Japanese word, which translates out to... Oh, you can't be kidding. It actually translates out to pocket monster? Why did you just call it pocket monster then? I know what a pocket monster is. It's a monster that fits in your pocket. Easy! Why don't you keep Pokemon? That's ridiculous! Nobody knows what a Pokemon is! Okay, okay, credit. It's okay. Okay, credit. Okay, so will, you, will you please calm down, okay? Pokemon is has using trying to cat, you know, trying to find it and trying to catch the Pokemon and put it in a pocket. Let's let's take a look at the let's take a look at these three characters, okay? That's let's just let's just let's just hate let's just share share lives a little bit. It here, we got a main character Ash Ketchum. He's from Boy from Pal Town. Um, 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 with the two guys, Misty, he stole the bike. He stole Misty's bike. Back then, and then Brock is voiced by Eric Stewart. The Stewart. My imagination is in the, this video it has got a lot of madness in on this on this on some point. And this point, I don't know what is going to happen around here. I I would choose it to choose choose it to. Jamaican shouts out when he wants to play cards. Hey, would you like to play some Pokemon? I don't want to play poker, you... <sighs> I'm spinning all over my hand. So the story is about the clone of the most powerful Pokemon in the world called Mew. The clone's name? Mew 2. Mew and Mew 2. So Mewtwo was cloned from Mew. What is this, a Dr. Seuss book? He's upset because apparently he doesn't like being the clone. So he blows up the laboratory with all the innocent scientists burning alive inside. You know, for kids! Later on, another man tries to take him under his wing to teach him how to focus his powers. But that doesn't go over well either. After his little temper tantrums, he decides to set out and destroy all of humanity and Pokemonity alike. Why? Because the world is dark, cruel, meaningless, and can't conjure up better writers to create a better backstory. That's progress. Meanwhile, on the other side of wherever this all takes place, we come across our three main characters, Misty, Brock, and Ash, a Pokemon trainer, who I think would be a lot cooler if he was more like the Ash from the Evil Dead movies. Swallow this. Now, I've heard a lot of people complain how these three characters have absolutely no personality, but I think they have plenty of personality. For example... Brock has the personality of mud, Misty has the personality of motor oil, and even Ash has the distinct personality of sandpaper. Now I know what you're thinking, isn't that a little extreme? I mean, even sandpaper can be interesting sometimes. Guess you're right. These three kids set out to collect as many Pokemon as possible. Because... I guess somebody has to. They're followed by the evil trio known as Team Rocket, who want to steal Ash's Pokemon and use them for their own evil deeds. The humans' names are Jesse and James. Oh, I get it, like Jesse James, the famous outlaw. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, really not funny. Oh, yeah, Team Rocket back then. Uh, you know, he said, no, he is in, in the, his name is Jesse James and Meowth. R yeah, that, remember back then. So, and then, uh, G no, no, the, and his leader, Giovanni, you know, he, that's right, take over the world. Of course! <clears throat> and there's also Meowth a Pokemon who for some reason can speak English, unlike the other Pokemons who can say only their names over and over and over. Which sounds pretty annoying at first, but after you hear dialogue like this, she's really small, but really pretty. You'll be praying for one word sentences. So Mewtwo sets up a tournament of the Pokemons, which turns out it's just a trap so he can make clones of all of them to take over the world. Of course! Our three heroes try to make it to the tournament, but a dangerous storm threatens their way. So Clever Team Rocket pretends to help them out, disguising themselves as... 
Ein Swedish Vikings? Wie geht ihr zu nur einen faster, denn ihr könnt sehr farbig nur gehen? Oh! I didn't know Vikings still existed! They mostly live in Minnesota! Ash, are, are we riding on are riding on the boat with Team Rocket, or are we going to talk about the Minnesota Vikings? Copyright, you bitch, bitch. But Team Rocket's plan backfires, and our heroes make it safely to Mewtwo's fortress. There, they discover his evil plan as Mewtwo captures all the Pokemon and makes clones of them down below. But the Pokemon are later freed and ready to kick some Pokemon's. And the rest of the movie is pretty much this. <laughs> Nothing but fighting. It's just Pokemon running, zapping, jumping, ducking, screaming. And since they're fighting their own clones, I can't even tell which one I'm supposed to be rooting for. The only interesting thing that happens is that the original Mew shows up to challenge Mewtwo. And I don't know if it's because I don't watch the show, but is Mew supposed to be retarded? I mean, he doesn't do anything. He just bounces around making mumbling noises to himself. Is that normal? Thank you. While looking over all these Furbies beating the out of each other, Ash finally comes to a stunning realization. Hiding must be... bad. that's made its whole profit on nothing but fighting is suddenly telling us that it's bad to be fighting? How f***ing hypocritical is that? That's like O.J. Simpson going around telling everybody that's bad to kill people. At least his mouth is working. Amidst all the violence and chaos, we see that Ash gets caught in the middle of a laser blast and is transformed into a stone statue. I know I should feel bad, but all I'm thinking about is how great it'd be if I actually got stoned right now. You are as pathetic as the rest. So the Pokemon stop fighting and have a good cry at the loss of their fallen hero. Wait a minute. Oh no, they can't be. I mean, I knew this movie was bad, but... no, oh, no, it's impossible. This movie can't possibly be that stupid. Oh my they are! They're using their tears of unfathomable sadness to bring their fallen hero back to life. I mean, how more cliched can you possibly get? On top of that, what kind of lesson is that to teach your kids? If you cry hard enough, dead people will come back from the grave? No! I mean, in a Disney film at least, when somebody is dead, they stay dead. You know what, Critic, and that's a pretty good point. In the 20th movie, I watched it in the theaters, okay? Just like in the first movie, he, this, mov this movie is rated G for general audiences. Let's take a look at them in this flashback for a second, okay? When I, when, when my mother's, when mother and I went to the theaters, 
and I bought the popcorn, and I got lots of snacks. I was pumped up for the movie. I met the two two guys. He's he's named Ferrity and the Sorrel. Or at the at the at the Sinon 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 region. I forgot to pronounce that. And so on the twentieth movie, because Ash died, and it, because Ash is dying in on the. And then it is right inside of the parallel dimension. And if it if it, if they did die, or you all just want to call or uh, want to call the Channel Awesome Studios, if it, they did it, it did, and if they did it, if it Ash died, and if it, it, this movie is really bad, if it's bad, you must call it on the Channel Awesome Studios, and we'll. If it, if it, you know you know oh, the first movie is, is really bad, it will cancel this program for uh, cancel this show forever. So the the, the Pokemon the first movie is hundred percent good bad and a hundred percent is you know, hundred percent good is a Pokemon the movie I choose you. What a rip off! I think I I guess the I guess the critic will have to I guess it well it's time for the for the import. And now it's time for the big conclusion to the to the story. It would be, and now it's time for the other circle. It's time for the Simba cry harder, try and stuff. I mean, how would you like it if in Lion King you heard somebody say, "Don't worry, Simba. If you cry hard enough, your father will come back from the grave." I don't see his eyes opening. I guess you're not crying hard enough. Go on, Simba, cry, cry. Don't you want your father to come back to life? Do you want him to stay dead forever? Cry harder, Simba! Harder! 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 I guess you don't love your father enough. Oh well, that's the circle of life, kid. Tough break. You see, it's creepy. It's not your business. <sighs> okay, okay, critic. Please, please tell me. So after Ash is brought back from the dead, Mewtwo decides he doesn't want to fight anymore, and that he wants to take all his clones to live a good and peaceful life. Unfortunately, he also takes all the human characters back in time and erases their memories. So they can totally forget the lesson that we spent an hour and a half learning in the first place! Well, that sure was a shocking ending. So now they can go back to their normal ways fighting all they want because they can't remember that fighting was bad. What kind of a message is that? It's okay to fight as long as you know that fighting isn't good? What a rip off! I mean, how about a real lesson? Like, uh, uh... It's not who I am underneath. But what I do, that defines me. Hey, that's pretty good. Thanks, Batman. What a nice guy. But he has a point. Just because you know something is bad doesn't excuse you from doing it. A real lesson from a real hero. No way! Then tell me about it! Bottom line, this movie is stupid. It's stupid because it's boring, it's boring because it's confusing, and it's confusing because it's stupid. Even the moral makes no sense. So how am I supposed to trust the rest of it? I never watched Pokemon, and I'm glad I never did. We had good shows in our day. Like the one about the mutant reptiles who ate pizza and practiced ninjutsu. Or the one about the three chipmunks who got together and got their own rock band going. Or the one about the bears who make people feel better by shooting hearts out of their stomachs. Those were the days! I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Okay. And let us so let us sit back and then on that's time for the big conclusion to this and now, and now it's time for take the and now and then and now it's time to take the break of this channel for this one and then let's have a big conclu uh, having some questions right after the uh, right in the next uh, let's have some big que uh, have some questions in the end of this episode uh, and answer them for today's episode okay. so the it's time for the qu question is do you think that do you think that an uh, do you think the Pokemon movies should have been, there should have been ended, and there should a Pokemon anime, and the Pokemon movies there should have been, and there should have been ended in the first place, or is this series will go on, with a very outdated, in parenting move, dude, and, and instead of getting, in, and again emotionally bad, it went to an extreme, extreme, laming thoughts. To keep at to keep contacting on the on the worldwide internet the internet video program of their web critic program 
go on uh, go on YouTube Oob, more popular and at and ask for I have many uh, has a lot of criticizing some some uh, criticizing about Pokemon or Ninja Turtles kicked book Pokemon butt movement. Unreal.